the gent thugger. <laughs> okay, it's gent, gent hugger, or maybe gent thugger. Depends on how you want to use your tea. I don't have any preference for it. You use, use your teas however you want. <laughs> In this video, we're going to go over how this gent drum sampler actually works. Okay, now this is from It Might Get Loud. Head over to this site here. Check it out, man. All right, as you can see, it's a heavyweight gent drum library for all things heavy. Now, this is only the shell samples. Uh, no symbols are included. It's VST, AU, and AAX, Windows, and Mac. All right. So head over here, watch the video. It sounds pretty good. We can listen to some samples if we want. So pretty cool. Of course, there's more samples you can listen to for the you know for the full uh, for the full mix. There, you want to see what's included here. You got your snare, your birch custom, your birch custom for your tom, birch custom, a birch custom for your kick there as well. Okay, head over here, read about it, watch the video, listen to more of the uh, uh, full mix samples. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to focus on how it actually works. Back here to Pro Tools now. This is going to be a little bit different for other DAWs, just you know how they work. So. Some things may not necessarily apply to you, but this is how it's going to work here. You call it up in Pro Tools. Now, right now we have this on an instrument track. You might have it on an aux track using MIDI tracks. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to split this output out. Uh, and I guess I should probably explain why that is. So the first time you open this up, uh, you can resize it. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Resize it. Say you drag in some MIDI, and we are using MIDI from It Might Get Loud. They have a bunch of really great uh, MIDI libraries uh, for you to purchase. So we're here in Pro Tools. We have our MIDI, and we have our cool Gent drum plugin, and we hit play. And we're just getting the kick. So we look at our, our MIDI, and we say, hmm, there's more going on in this clip than just a kick. What about this? Hmm, well we know there's a kick, we know there's snare. Hmm, what's going on, what do you think? I click the snare, it's making noise, but I can't hear it, same for the toms. So this comes down to routing, and this is the main point of this video, uh, of how to actually use this. So if we look here on this audio track, let's look at our input, we'll go to plugin, and we'll see that, okay, now this makes sense. Right, this is, the, this is the main point here, is the outputs from the drum. You can see bass drum two, bass drum three. Now we don't have bass drum one, and why is that? Well, that's because it's, uh, you know, it's coming through this, uh, this, this track here, and in, in our case, our instrument track. But as you can see, we have three sliders here for different, uh, you know, different positions. Uh, this is gent, jazz, beefy, so on and so forth. So, okay, so we can adjust these things, but again, we can't, we can't hear them. So what we have to do to actually hear all of this and again, it's just the shells, there's no symbols, so you're gonna have to use different symbol samples. What you'll actually have to do is you'll have to create tracks to actually hear all of this stuff, sort of like you would a, you know, a real, you know, a real drum kit. Okay, so we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, like 14, okay? So we need 14 tracks. And of course that corresponds to two and three, so two and three, here's four, five, and six, so four, five, and six. One, two, and three for the high tom. So one, two, and three. Hopefully you get that. All right. So what? Let's uh, go ahead and create these audio tracks. And we're going to use audio tracks. You could use aux tracks if you just want to mix and listen. But you're probably going to want to record those so you can actually use your plugins after the fact and not just use them live. So here on Windows in Pro Tools, Control Shift N. Let's go ahead and do 14 tracks. Now we could do mono, but the outs, as you saw, are stereo. So let's just use stereo. Now stereo doesn't mean that it's going to fill the entire stereo field. You got to understand stereo tracks doesn't mean it's coming out left and right necessarily. The center image can still be straight down the middle. Okay. So don't, you know, don't feel weird about using a stereo track. And we're going to do audio tracks. Again, you can use aux tracks if you want. Let's go ahead and create those. Okay. So with everything still selected, you're in Pro Tools, so let's hold down Control, Shift, and Alt, or Control, Alt, and Shift, and choose our input. Now we can release those buttons. Come down here to Plugin, and we're just gonna choose this top one, and bada bing, look at that, man. 
all of our routing is done for us all the way down to that low tom three and we can see that here and that should be everything yeah all the way down to low tom three so we're good there so now with everything still selected i'm going to hold down alt and shift that just basically means all selected and hit i so now we're going to monitor all of those tracks and when we play back now we're actually hearing everything pretty cool but of course the problem is this is bass drum two this is bass drum three this is bass uh, this is snare one snare two okay for our different uh, you know different sliders now you don't necessarily have to have to have all of these inputs okay you can do a lot of mixing in here maybe you don't want any of that say jazz or beef and you just want the gent so in that case you could just do say snare four and just skip over five and six and not even use them but why not go ahead and record them you never know when you're going to need that uh, in your mix so the next thing is what about that one input for our kick drum well in this case what i want to do let me hold on alt get rid of that uh alt get rid of all that there too and what we're going to do now is split out the audio from our instrument track so we'll just go to new track here easiest way to do it stereo audio and let's just call it uh kick one create that right there it is so now make sure we monitor that now that audio is coming out of that there and we can hear it of course if i turn it down you're not going to hear it all right so now we'll go ahead and we select all of these here all the way down to here shift very good all selected click i now we can actually hear it again no symbols included so you'll have to use a different library for that so let's just um just our kicks just so you can get the idea of how these sliders work. So I'll turn these down. Make sure this is on solo two there, since it's coming out of this track. So you can get a different idea. So just use, this, use these sliders to mix. You can hold down control if you want. You get sort of that fine control. Here's your pan knobs. Double click to put them back to the uh, center. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know about this Gent drum uh, library here. Just come through here, adjust your mix however uh, you like it. And that's probably kind of like these two a little bit lower, kind of on everything more of that Genty sound. Personally, Something like that is what I like there. Very good. So I've done Alt, get rid of all that. And then Alt Shift, and we'll just record enable all of those tracks. Now we can go ahead and actually record our drums. Okay. Of course, you'd probably have, you know, longer than that. But then, of course, you'd come in here and just like any other, let's get rid of that, record enable, come in here and add whatever plugins you want to each of your tracks and mix it just like you had recorded a real drum kit. Again, I'll reiterate, there are there are no symbols with this uh, uh, with this pack, so you'll have to use one of the other. It might get loud libraries or any you know sort of uh, symbol sampler that you want to add in uh, your cymbal sounds. Okay, so that is basically everything you need to know. And again, head over to the website if you want to hear some full mixes. Now we'll go ahead and I'll just go through uh, some of the sounds here uh, that you can get with this plugin.